All are right. you ready? We are ready. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Hey folks, and welcome back to Bangkok. We are continuing our Bangkok mini-series today, right where we left off at the threshold here of Na Oh. That's right, it's a restaurant inside of, a, of an old airplane. So without further ado, let's jump into it. She told me what kind of plane it is. It's a Lockheed, L, Lockheed LT-11 is what she said. L-1011. Huh? L-1011. L-1011. Yeah. Ah, L-1011. I thought I got that wrong. Anyway, you, you, some of you guys would know that anyway. But uh, they, they, she also confirmed there is air conditioning inside. It's like the real airplane. It's really needed. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. All right. We are ready. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the elevator only goes up maybe one floor, but it is painfully slow. To kind of buffer or mitigate that, she tells a story, uh, a tale of kind of the conception of the restaurant. It's kind of a, a lost theme, neo-modern, futuristic story of the end of the world, a crashed airplane in the jungle, perhaps. Uh, more about that as we go. All right, welcome aboard. Wow. Look at the polar bear. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's very elegant in here. Almost a little bit of a medieval flair to some of the things. Almost like a little bit of a castle. Look at this big guy. Oh, this is our table. Oh, okay. All right. We're here. It's nice and cool in here, but it's dark. I realize that. Uh, it's the lighting. So let's, let's get all set in and then we'll take a little tour around. I gotta uh, set up our home base here first. Gotta have a look. Gotta have a look-see here. Look at this place. This is the cockpit here. Look at that. That would be a special... That would be a special... Uh, reservation for that and that would be your view out there <laughs> so they've removed the entire cockpit and uh, there's this <laughs> all this wood carving very neat you know they have this end of the world theme I could see that if it was the end of the world people would find planes and maybe make a house out of it uh, maybe live in it uh, gut it all out Turn it into a, turn it into something which it wasn't originally designed to be. Kind of fantastical, and I think that's kind of their theme here: fantasy, maybe a modern fantasy. So yeah, the hostess went on to tell me that they actually change the menu here every six months. The current theme is the the airplane crash landed on a remote island somewhere. And the, the chef is the sole survivor, and he, he constructs the menu from local ingredients and things like that. So I hope that sheds a little bit more light on it. I'll talk about these animals in a minute. She was also very adamant about these. They were not hunted or killed. They're part of a, a private collection from the owner, apparently. I really like that wild boar. He looks scary. No. This is not the menu selection. <laughs> so yeah, not at all. This private collection, I guess, was put together over years. And I don't know, in talking with the hostess, I think normally taxidermied animals of this nature may even be illegal here, but these have all been licensed and imported correctly uh, and so forth. So, so they, they actually encourage photography of it. It's all above board. Now, up here, I thought this was interesting. It looks like uh, they had taken some items off the duty-free cart and uh, made an art display out of them. I guess they took all the all the uh, perfume that they would come around and sell 
and of course it's all empty so they just made a decoration out of it so yeah they do give you uh you know when you come in you, they'll take your drink order and then they'll ask would you like to look around before you place your food order because there's so much to see uh, i hope that's not indicative of the food so yeah, I thought it was good we got here early. So we, we could actually have an opportunity to look around before we ordered and, and before the place started filling up, which it would pretty quickly as well. The back of the plane, we looked at that from the outside. Got your big chandelier. Well, I almost prefer this. This is really something. It kind of just standing here kind of feels like you're in a crashed airplane and you're looking out into the, into the wilderness. The airplane crashed in the wilderness. <laughs> wow. It's a really neat place and it is 100% something different. Something you don't see every day. So it's very limited seats while you need a reservation here and uh, you need to make, a, make your booking and all that. I kind of like how they left the floor like this. You can see the grooves in the floor where all the seating used to be. All the windows, the portholes. It is something to see. Um, you'd have to come here and see it yourself. But there's also a lot to see in this, in this creative park. So uh, I think worth a trip. So they have, the meals are in courses. So there's a three course meal, five course meal. We just got one of each. It's not like it's a five course for two or a three course for two. It's per person. I think the three courses, I think he said was 900 baht and the five course was 1800 baht or something like that. So two people, if you do it, ours is going to be, what, 2700 drinks and everything. It's going to be, it's going to be almost a hundred dollar bill um, ish. Depending on what you get to drink, you can get a bottle of wine here. They were selling wine. Wine, I think, uh, two, three thousand baht a bottle if you went that way. Uh, we're just going to get some regular drinks. But um, for two people, for two people, uh, you know, fifty dollars a person for two people. That, that's about what you expect, I guess, for something like this. Um, so we'll see how it's going to be. So, I'll show you this. The first thing that came, like a little appetizer, it's complimentary. And they gave us, it looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a dish of rocks, you know, like under the water rocks. But there's two things that are edible on, on here. I'll show you this, the top piece, and you're supposed to eat that bit first. I think that's something sweet. It looks like it's got Boston cream inside. I don't know. Like Boston cream with a, a hint of lemon. But that's not part of the courses. <laughs> So we got the first first dish of the five course meal. It's like an earthy type appetizer with things that grow under the earth, so potatoes, mushrooms, that kind of stuff. And it came, came in this wonderful shell, and the shell is warm. Um, like your plate would be warm, the shell is warm. So we got some mushrooms and sauce, and uh, there's like an Italian flair to it. I don't, I'm not even sure what to call it. It's not a salad. It's not a soup. It's just kind of a appetizer put together with some cream sauce, some mushrooms, some potato. But it's it is something different. And it's good. Let's see what comes out next. I have no idea. I just signed up for all the courses. So yeah, every dish they have a story behind. They come out, they speak very good English, they explain the story. This is an under the sea story that's served in a scallop dish. Here again, the whole plate is warm. The scallop uh, shell is warm. That would have been a huge scallop too. 
Um, they tell you a little about this is Japanese inspired. So I like it. It's a, it's a whole dining experience here. The courses come one by one and they tell you about it and what inspired the dish, what the chef, what was going through the chef's mind when he made the dish. This one's a, another beautiful dish. We'll see what's next. That's two courses down. Now, that's two courses down for my five course, but only one course down for V's three course. So she has two more courses left. I have three more courses left. The extra course that I have, we share. So that's how that all works. Yeah, the fish, I think, was like kind of like V's main course, but I think they split that between us, and I'll split my main course, I guess, between us. The, just let them know you're sharing, you know? And then they gave us a, a chestnut soup. I'm really curious to try that. It's a very thick soup. Wow, yeah, very, very earthy. Very nutty. Very nice. Reminds me a little bit of a pumpkin soup. And then we got the fish. Very flaky fish. And a nice sauce. Mmm. Just melts in your mouth. So my, so my main course was the meat, the beef. Big, thick piece, succulent, just melt it in your mouth. Nicely seasoned. I ate both pieces because V's not really a big beef eater. But uh, yeah, definitely a fine dining cut of, beef, cut of meat right there. Um, I think we have one left. We have like one course left, not sure what that is. We've had the fish, we've had the, the beef, we've had the scallops. I don't know what's left. <laughs> I tell you, the place is doing a, a business. Now, they said that they've been open three years, but of course, with the lockdown and everything, they're just reopening. I think they reopened about 10 days ago. But they have been in business here for three years. We're early. The peak, the peak, the peak seatings were seven o'clock, and I chose a six o'clock, and it's still pretty full. That the big table at the nose of the airplane's already taken. Um, yeah. There's a good amount of good amount of people in here. So probably the last course of course was dessert. I don't know what I was thinking. After meat comes dessert. Probably the most interesting and intricate dessert ever. <laughs> I'll show you, he poured this special sauce out of a shell that was on a bed of diamonds. It's a whole thing, but it's ice cream, so we gotta eat it. And then we'll go outside and we'll look around and see what, uh, see what it looks like at night. But that's the fifth and final course, the ice cream, the fruit, and the diamonds with the conch shell. <laughs> the whole thing's a, a fantasy. <laughs> we, it was such a good meal. I thought, hey, why not go visit the... Okay, so thank the you, sir. Be the, uh, the wow. Why not go visit the kitchen? Look at this place. <laughs> wow. Very good, very good. Uh, now right. Very good, very professional. That's, that, that was the appetizer thing. Wow. You can see how busy they are. Right in the middle of the dinner service. I'm sure they needed that. Yeah. Um, I don't, it, I've never been anywhere anywhere quite like it. Uh, it's a very unique experience. If you don't come, you'll never know. Oh, everything was very good. Very good, very good. We very enjoyed it. We very enjoyed it. Thank you again so much. And now you full or not? I'm full. I'm full. I'm <laughs> for maybe uh, three hours. Yeah. Okay, Carl. Come on, Carl.
But wow, yeah, we're full. Just a just a, a a totally different kind of experience. Totally different kind of experience. Uh, the food I, I've never had anything exactly like that. He's uh, probably never had anything even close. It, it was very all very imaginative. It wasn't dishes that you see at every restaurant. There, every dish is custom made. Every dish is custom conceived. But that's a little look at night. So we're gonna find a cab and. Uh, Go back to our lovely hotel. <laughs> so yeah, fabulous evening here at Nao. Nao, that's the name of the restaurant. It's in the creative park here. I definitely could not call it Thai cuisine per se. It really had very little, if any, Thai to do with it. It was kind of a fusion of many different Western uh, cuisines, J Japanese, even uh, Italian. And of course, all combined with the chef's own imagination to come up with all those dishes. But yeah, just look for the big puppy dog out here guarding the, the creative park. That is where the restaurant is located. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode. I got to leave this one off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.